Good evening and welcome to tonight's inner conference CLC conference basketball game here at Sheboygan County Christian I. Tonight, Crosstown Rivals and the two area Christian schools face off against each other as Sheboygan County Christian High hosts Sheboygan Area Lutheran. Stay tuned for an exciting game tonight. It ought to be a good one as uh, both schools are, uh, are playing pretty well, actually. Uh, Sheboygan Area Lutheran has a record of one and three, but has been hanging pretty tough with some of the better schools in uh, CLC Conference. And uh, Sheboygan Christian uh, has been playing some pretty good ball. They stumbled against Howard's Grove, who played against a, played a good game the other night against them. But uh, we're looking forward to a good game tonight. And stay tuned as we introduce the starting lineups for both teams. And now let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. Uh, for the Crusaders, starting as a freshman, 6'2", Sam Decker. Number three is a junior, 5'11", Dan Salzbrenner. Number 12, or I'm sorry, number 24, Ryan Johansson. Number 32, Zach Lindauer and number 21, Parker Anderson, a senior, 6'4 senior. And now for the Christian High Eagles. The Lutheran Crusaders are coached by Mr. Todd Decker. Starting at guard for the Eagles tonight is number 14, Andrew Stecker. His backcourt Nate tonight is number 21, Lee Veldkamp. Starting at forward, number 23 is senior, Zach Jensma. At the other forward is number 22, Luke Weir, and playing the center post position tonight for the Eagles is number 32, Joel Mirading. Sit back, enjoy. It ought to be a good one tonight as these crosstown rivals take to the court in a CLC battle. This is the first time these two are meeting this season. The players to watch tonight, I think, for Lutheran are going to be the freshman Sam Decker. That's Todd Decker's son. Um, he has really grown in, in the last couple of years, hitting 6-2. Um, and for the Eagles, well, there's, there's a myriad of players that, that you can watch. Andrew Stecker, the point guard, has been playing very well for them, along with Lee Velkamp. Lee's not going to score you a ton of points, although he has the possibility or potential, but he is he's really a floor leader, calms things down. I think the Eagles will be looking 
for a lot out of Joe Meerding tonight. And we'll have to see what happens. I don't know what the delay was, but they look like they got things straightened out now. Referees are Tom Hunink and Joel Ebers and Todd Vaness tonight here at Christian High. Jumping center for the Lutheran Crusaders is number 21, Parker Anderson, and jumping for the Eagles is number 23, Zach Jensma. Ball got thrown up a little too high, even for these big guys, and we will redo it again. Taps tipped by Jensma over to Velkamp, chases it down. And Eagles turn it over. Dan Salzenbrenner into Decker, over to Parker. Anderson, rebound by Sizemore. Out to the corner, Jensma lines it up and is a little long on the shot. Rebound by Zach Blindauer. Decker brings it up over half to Salzenbrenner and they set the offense. Down in the corner to Johansson, over to the middle and it's taken away by Zach Jensmo over to Lee Velkamp and Velkamp pushes it up the floor. Into the corner to Joe Meriting, squares it up, lets it go and he misfires. Sizemore just rips it, should have gone back up with it. Dumped it over to Meerdink and the ball went out of bounds off of Meerdink over to Lutheran High Crusaders. Dan Salzenbrenner, the junior, brings it up against Stecker. Over to Blindauer, over to Johansson. They run kind of a weave down into the corner to Decker for a three. And he buries the three to put Lutheran up three to nothing with 6.45 in this first quarter. Token press by Salzenbrenner and Lee Velkamp walks the ball up the floor. Backdoor cut by Stecker and he is called for the traveling. Another turnover by the Eagles. They need to settle down a little bit. Dan Salzbrenner brings it over the half line, guarded by Stecker, down into the corner to Sam Decker. Out to Blindauer, over to Salzbrenner. Setting a screen for Decker, guarded by Lee Velkamp. Shot by Blindauer, misses. Sizemore with a rebound, kick out to Joe Meerding. Meerding trying to get a handle of it and pulls it back and almost has it stolen. Down to Stecker in the corner who brings it in. Back over to Velkamp who lays it in for an easy layup. Assist by Stecker. Salzenbrenner, Salzbrenner dribbling between the circles. Switched over, guarded by Jensma. And Jensma tips it out of bounds over to Lutheran Crusaders. Ryan Johansson to inbound the ball. Looks inside, can't get it there. Sam Decker with a shot. Long on three, rebounded by Jensma. And gets it over to Lee Velkamp. Velkamp pushing up, looking for Sizemore inside. Sizemore had his guy sealed, and again, the Eagles turn it over. Ball goes out of bounds to the Crusaders. Eagles in a man-to-man -man defense. Down into the corner to Sam Decker. Decker over to Blindor, back to Salzbrenner. Guarded by Meerdink, up high. Decker on the given goal. Nowhere to go, and the Crusaders turn it over to the Eagles. Checking into the lineup is number 22, Luke Weir for Matt Sizemore. Decker brings the ball over timeline. Guarded by Salzbrenner into Meerdink. Meerdink hard down the lane, kicks it out to Velkamp. Velkamp drives down and lays it in for an easy two. Sam Decker bringing it over timeline, kicks back over to Salzbrenner, over to Blindower, and back to Johansson. Johansson skip pass over to Decker. 
back to Sensbrenner. They dump it inside and are forced into a turnover. Parker Anderson probably would have been smart and it was just barked at by his coach to shoot that ball instead of try to get it into Johansson. Eagles bring the ball over. It looks like Lutheran's in a half court press. Half court trap, 1-3-1. One, one. Down in the corner to Luke Weir. Weir skips to Stecker, back into the corner to Jensma, who's the shooting three man for the Christian High Eagles. Decker dribbles up, and now it's Lutheran's turn to turn the ball over. Bad pass by Sam Decker. Checking into the Crusader lineup is number 12, Zach Brost. And going out is number 32, Zach Lindauer. Score right now is Christian I Eagles 7, Lutheran 3. Stecker dribbling between the circles, trying to get him in their offense. Over to Jensma. Over to Velkamp for a three at the top of the key, and he buries it from Zach Jensma. Beautiful play that the Eagles just ran. Oh, Lutheran almost turned the ball over again. In the corner over to number 12, Brost. Out to Sam Decker, over to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner resets it. And Decker calls out a play from the bench and Lutheran's into it, into Johansson. Over to Decker. Decker tries to penetrate. And they turn the ball over again. Eagle defense is, is doing a good job of pressuring Lutheran into mistakes. Ball goes to Weir, over to Jensma. Jensma eyes it up, decides to shoot the three. Rims off and Mirning comes down with a rebound over to Stecker. Stecker drives the lane and he's gonna lay it in for an easy two. And Todd Decker and the Lutheran High Crusaders call timeout, 30-second timeout for the Crusaders. With 3.07 left in the first quarter, the Eagles lead the Crusaders 12-3. Coach Decker is uh, really imploring his team to take care of the ball, play some better defense. He's trying to make sure that they can, uh, that they understand their roles and their duties out on the floor. As we come out of that timeout, Zach Brost will be uh, inbounding to Dan Sauls and Brenner. Along with, out there with them is Parker Anderson and Ryan Johansson and Sam Decker. He, Eagles now imploring a 1-3-1 trap defense. It skipped over way out to Salzbrenner. The Eagles change it up. Sam Decker unloads a three and hits it. Sam Decker has two threes for the, or for the Lutheran High Crusaders and it is 12 to 12-6 Eagles. Luke Weir with the ball. Over to Joe Meerdink. Meerdink lines it up and travels with it. Checking into the Lutheran lineup is number 22, Josh Walrich. He replaces Ryan Johansson. Saul's Brenner dribbling the ball up against the zone. Drives to the basket. And misses the lay-in, rebounded by Mirnink, out to Stecker. Stecker pushing up the floor, stops and pops. Comes up short, Weir pounding for the rebound. Lee Velkamp saves it, and Luke Weir is called for traveling as he got his feet tied up and couldn't get rid of the ball in time as he fell to the floor. Eagles go back into their man-to-man -man defense. Saul's been guarded by Stecker. Veldkamp guarding Sam Decker. They get it in down low, and number 21, Parker Anderson, is fouled by number 22 of the Eagles, Luke Weir. At the line is Parker Anderson, who's shooting two. 
Parker Long on the first one. Checking into the Eagle lineup is Jeremy Jensma checking in for his brother, Zach. And Anderson has another free throw to shoot. He lines it up, Long again, Lee Velkamp with a rebound, looks to push it up right away. Gets it over on the wing to Joe Meerdink. Meerdink dribbling, looking, kicks it out to Weir. And Lutheran is in a zone defense against the, no, nope. they're in their man. Jensen at the top of the key, Stecker goes back door, Weir down the lane, and in for a nice little layup. Luke Weir with his first two points. With a minute and a half left in the first quarter, the Eagles lead the Crusaders 14 to five. Dan Salzbrenner getting the Crusaders into the offense over to number 12, Zach Brost. And Lutheran throws the ball away again. Checking into the Crusader lineup is number 24, Ryan Johansson. And number 11, Carl Nimmer, a 6'1 sophomore. Lee Velkamp to bring it up. Over to Stecker, guarded by Decker. Over to Meerdink. A lot of picking and screening going on by the Eagles. Velkamp down the lane, throws a misguided shot off, and Sam Decker comes off with a rebound, pushes it up to Johansson. Johansson looking inside to Parker Anderson, and I'm sorry, to Josh Walrich. And he is fouled by number 24, Jeremy Jensma. Sam Decker to inbound underneath the basket. He gets it into Josh Walrich, and they're going to run around the circle and look for Sam Decker for a shot, but he isn't able to get one. He's pressured by Luke Weir, and he just throws the ball away telling his Lutheran teammate that he needed a cut to the basket. They were not on the same page with that one. With 35 seconds left in the quarter, see if the Eagles play for one last shot. Stecker eyeing it up on the wing. Joe Meerdings open for a three and lets it go and buries the three with 24 seconds. Stecker pushing it up to Johansson and it looks like Lutheran's running a secondary break and the Eagles got caught napping on that one. And Luke Weir picks up his second foul. Checking into the lineup for the Crusaders is Dan Salzenbrenner for Sam Decker and number 23, Josh Meck for Ryan Johansson. Inbounding it for the Crusaders is Carl Nimmer. Goes out to number 12, Zach Brose, who turns on Sizemore. And it comes up short. Stecker with a rebound with 12 seconds left. Pushes it up the left-hand side. Stops his dribble. Gets caught up in the air. And he is called for traveling. Seven seconds remaining in the first quarter. With the Eagles leading 17 to 5. Uh, Zach Jensman checked into the lineup for Andrew Stecker put a little bit of height at the top so that they can't get an easy look at the basket. Solomon's Brenner down the lane, puts one up off the back bracket and misses. Rebounded by Joe Meerdink and the buzzer sounds bringing an end to this first quarter with the Eagles of Sheboygan County Christian High leading Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders by a score of 17 to five, or to six, I'm sorry. I believe Sam Decker has got both baskets for the Crusaders, who seem to be struggling a little bit finding their offense. Um, there was probably one downside to the Eagles play. It was too many turnovers, a little sloppy on their part. Um, and we'll see if they come out and tighten some things up as we start the second quarter. And as we come out in the second quarter, coming out for the Lutheran High Crusaders is number one, Sam Decker, number 11,
Carl Nimmer. Number three, Dan Salzbrenner. Number 21, Parker Anderson. And number 22, Josh Walworth. For the Eagles, it's Jeremy Jensma, 24. Joe Meerdink, number 32. Number 23, Zach Jensma. Number 21, Lee Velkamp. And Sizemore, number 31, starting for the Eagles. The Crusaders try to run a set play, a backdoor play, and it probably would have worked if the pass would have been a little better, but they turned it over, and the Eagles have the ball. Bell Camp being pressured by Salzbrenner, easily breaks the pressure, goes all the way to the basket, tries to lay it up and in, and does so with very little resistance. Crusaders push the ball up the floor very quickly, and Zach Jensma gets around and fronts the high post, Comes over to Lee Velkamp, who finds Sizemore down the middle, and Sizemore overlays the little bunny shot. As the Eagles look like they're trying to push Temple. Dan Salzbrenner, the point guard for the Crusaders, brings it up against Joe Meriting. Over to Carl Nimmer, guarded by Jeremy Jensma. Over to Zach. Sam Decker gets loose, lets it fly, and hits another three. Sam Decker's been all the scoring for Lutheran so far. But I think Lutheran's going to need a whole lot more than just that tonight. Sizemore at the top of the key, backdoor cut. Over to Jensma, Jeremy Jensma, who lays it in for a nice layup. What a beautiful play. Great pass by Sizemore. Nice lay-in by Jensma. Salzbrenner dribbling against Meerdink, trying to get it into number 21 and does so. Parker Anderson with a nice little lay-in. Good penetration by Salzbrenner and quick dump over to Parker Anderson for two points. Eagles setting up their offense. It's a zone, two-three zone by Lutheran. Meerdink at the top. Eagles spreading the floor. Going to get a trap down inside. Jensma, ill-advised going baseline, turn the ball over. Salzbrenner brings it up, top of the key. Boy, they're really looking to get it inside and doing so. Parker Anderson with an overlay and rebounded by Jensma, who is just pummeled and turns the ball over as he falls out of bounds. Lutheran substituting three new guys in at this time. Number 12, Zach Bros. Number 24, Ryan Johansson. Number 32, Zach Lindar. Sam Decker at the top of the key, guarded by Velkamp, lets it fly and hits another three. That's the fourth three for Sam Decker. He's a nice young player. He's got a nice shot, works hard. Lee Velkamp lets go of the three, he's short. Johansson with a rebound, over to Decker. Decker squares up for three and lets it go, way long. Jensma with a rebound, Zach. Over to Velkamp, pushing up the left-hand side of the floor, back to the middle. All the big guys looking to seal. Dumped into Jeremy Jensma, who turns around and lays it in. Jeremy got way too deep on that on the Lutheran. Tempo picking up here, looking to get it inside. Salzbrenner turns it over, over to Jeremy Jensma for another lay-in. And the play has just gotten pretty hectic. Lutheran just turned the ball over. Lee Belkamp diving on the floor. Makes a steal, gets it over to Meerdink, and Coach Brett Flipsy calls a timeout. With 4.52 left in the second quarter in this first half, the Eagles lead Lutheran Crusaders by a score of 25-14. to 14. Probably a good timeout by Coach Flipsy as things seem to be getting a little bit hectic. I know the Eagles want to play an up-tempo kind of basketball game, but uh, I think Coach Flipsy wanted to maintain the possession there, and it's been going up and down rather hectically. Quick flurry of baskets. And the Eagles will inbound. 
Lee Velkamp came out during that timeout, and Andrew Stecker is back into the game to run the offense. Right into the middle to Jeremy Jensma, who puts, passes down to Mirding. Out to Zach Jensma for three, and he buries the three. Lutheran pushing it up again. Decker into Johansson. Johansson kicking out to number 32, Zach Lindauer, who goes to the basket and is fouled. Fouls on number 24, Jeremy Jensma. That's his second team foul, or second personal foul. It's the team fourth foul. Lutheran at this point does not have any fouls, but it's been a fairly clean game so far as far as fouls are concerned. Zach Lindauer misses the first free throw. Long on the second, and Joe Meerdink brings down the rebound. Over to Weir, Weir over to Stecker, and Stecker settles things down. Lutheran's in like a half-court trapping 2-3 zone. The top of the key is wide open for Jeremy, who's got the ball now over to Stecker. Stecker being patient. Over to Zach Jensma, who lets go a three and hits it way out. By the A and the Eagle, a Christian eye here. He was probably a good four feet behind, three feet behind the line. Number 12, Zach Brost. Let's go a shot. And the Eagles could not corral the rebound, and it goes off the Sheboygan County Christian High School player and over to the Lutheran High Crusaders. Sam Decker inbounding the ball in the corner. Almost has it stolen by Andrew Stecker. Goes off his foot. And the Crusaders retain possession. Checking into the lineup for the Crusaders is Parker Anderson and going out is Zach Lindauer. Josh Walrich to inbound, guarded by Joe Meriting. Salzbrenner looking to get the ball does. Down the baseline, dumps it off to Zach Gross, and he scores for the Crusaders. Joe Meerdink with the ball into Jeremy Jensma, one dribble down, puts it up off the glass, no good. And it's saved by the Crusaders. Sauls Brenner brings it up. Zach Gross up and not. No good. Meerdink with a rebound. Baseball pass over to Jeremy Jensma. Jensma holds up and looks for Stecker to get the ball and get the Eagles into their offense. Luke Weir with the ball in the wing. Looking for his cutters. Nobody there. Jeremy Jensma steps out. Backdoor cut by Zach Jensma. Stecker to Meerdink. Meerdink to Jensma in the corner. Let's it go again, rims off. Salzbrenner with a rebound, pushes the ball up the court, chased by Weir, guarded by Stecker down the middle. Zach Bros lets it fly and Meerdink pulls down another rebound. Andrew Stecker crosses the timeline, guarded by Salzbrenner in the man to man. And another turnover by the Eagles. Sam Decker comes out with it, pushes the ball up the floor, over to Salzbrenner, down into the corner. To Walridge, back out to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner tacking the middle. Over to Zach Gross, who hits the little mid-range jumper for two. With two minutes left here in the half, it's the Eagles leading the Crusaders 31 to 18. Stecker running the offense from the wing. Dumps in low, or out to the corner to Meerdink, back to Stecker, and Stecker missed the layup. Salzbrenner comes away with it and brings Lutheran up over to Decker, guarded by Weir. They kick over to Zach Brost, Brost back to Salzbrenner, Salzbrenner stuck at the elbow. Over to Walrich. Oh, and Parker Anderson just went down the lane and scored on a nice little layup, bringing the Crusaders 
Closer to a score of 31 to 20. Eagles are leading by 11. Flipsy calls timeout. And we have some substitution, at least for the Eagles. I believe Matt Sizemore is coming back into the game along with Lee Velkamp. Well, with a minute 21, the Eagles have let the Crusaders climb back into this game. And the Crusaders have made a nice little run here. They've become a lot more aggressive, attacking the basket, looking for shots. And the Eagles have turned the ball over quite a bit. Lee Velkamp to inbound on the side here. He looks down to Zach Jensma behind the three, bobbles the ball into Sizemore. Sizemore muscles the ball up, lays it off the backboard, puts it in, and has fouled. Sizemore was followed by number 21, Parker Anderson, his first, the team first. And Sizemore goes to the line to see if he can finish the three-point play. Sizemore rattles the rim, but Lee, Luke Weir climbed the ladder, put the ball back up and missed the layup. Sam Decker pushes it down, shoots it up off glass and in. And the Crusaders are back in this with, by a score of 35 to 22. They're down by 13. Lee Velkamp just turned the ball over. They were going to go back door. Eagles are not doing a good job of taking care of the ball. There's 58 seconds. Ryan Johansson checking back in for Parker Anderson. Sam Deckard inbound in front of the, high, the Christian High students. He gets it in to Dan Salzbrenner. Brenner, Salzbrenner dribbles up over half. Goes in to Nimmer. Nimmer looking to get it to Josh Walrich. Down in to Salzbrenner who lets go a three and is long on the iron. Luke Weir with a rebound. And he settles things down and gets it over to Velkamp. Velkamp down into Stecker. Stecker off glass and lays it in. Lutheran quickly pushing the ball up. Decker back over to Nimmer, back over to Decker, over to Salzbrenner, and off of Salzbrenner as Stecker's tip got into the passing lane, tipped it off of Dan Salzbrenner, and the Crusaders turned the ball over. 24 seconds left, scores 35 for the Eagles, 22 for Lutheran. Christian runs the inbound play again with Jensman to the corner who shoots the three is long. Decker comes away with it. And in the corner for Lutheran, number 11, Nimmer puts it up. He's long. We're over to Velkamp. Velkamp looking with five seconds, lays it in fairly easily. And Decker lets go with a long shot and off the backboard, bringing an end to this hectic first half in which the Eagles lead Sheboygan area Lutheran by a score of 37 to 22. It was an interesting half. A lot of action, a lot of up and down action. Um, Lutheran did not give up. They scrapped into it. Sam Decker, I think, has four three pointers, leading Lutheran with 12 points. Um, the Eagles again. I think their downfall was uh, turning the ball over too much. And so we'll have to see what the second half brings us. Stay tuned. And we ought to have an exciting second half to this cross-time rival, rival game between Sheboygan County Christian High and the Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders. We welcome you back to the second half of this CLC crosstown rival game between Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles and Sheboygan Area Lutheran uh, Crusaders. Uh, scoring for the first half went as follows for the visiting Crusaders. Zach Brost had four, 
Parker Anderson at four. And Sam Decker is leading Sheboygan Area Lutheran with 14. He has three or four threes and a two. For the Eagles, uh, you have Matt Sizemore with two, Luke Weir with two, Joe Meerdink with three, uh, Jeremy Jensma, I'm sorry, Andrew Stecker with four, Jeremy Jensma with six, Zach Jensma with three threes, has nine, and Lee Velkamp leads the Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles with 11 points. The Eagles lead at halftime here as we begin with a score of 37 to 22. Coming out for the Crusaders is Sam Decker and Dan Salzbrenner, along with Zach Blindauer, Ryan Johansson, and Parker Anderson. They're starting five. The Eagles counter with Andrew Stecker, Lee Veldkamp, Matt Sizemore, Joe Meerdink, and Luke Weir. Eagles to inbound the ball to start the second half. Stecker dribbles over the timeline, looking to run the offense over to Meerdink and over to Veldkamp and over to Sizemore for ball rotation. And he again threads the needle on a backdoor cut by Luke Weir, who lays it in from Matt Sizemore. Just a beautiful play that the Eagles run. Sam Decker with the ball, being harassed by Luke Weir. He's being pressured and trying to figure out where to go. Gets it over to Dan Salzbrenner, who used, who's running the offense for the Crusaders. And now he's guarded by Weir. Meerdink trying to guard Decker. Decker gets the ball, turns, passes over to number 32, Zach Blindauer. And he counters with a nice little lay-in. And putting the Crusaders on the board for the second half. Eagles turn the ball over again. Salzbrenner with a run out, being chased by four Eagles. It ends up getting blocked. Couldn't tell if it was Lee Velkamp or Luke Weir, but it goes off the Eagles. And over to the Crusaders, Sam Decker to inbound it. Who gets it into Blindauer, who goes past Sizemore. But Lee Velkamp was sitting there waiting and took the charge. Zach Blindauer picks up his first foul. Lee Velkamp dribbles up over half, gets it into Joe Meerdink. Meerdink just turns, goes down left hand side of the lane, overlays. Runs past the ball as it goes by his head and it was chased down by Lee Velkamp. Goes back into the corner to Velkamp, into Meerdink, and Meerdink overpasses to Sizemore. Sizemore thought he was gonna shoot and Meerdink was getting ready to rebound and Sizemore just threw it out of bounds, turning the ball over to the Crusaders. Salzbrenner brings the ball up court. Guarded by Stecker, but Luke Weir just fouled. Sam Decker. That's Luke Weir's third personal foul. The team's first for the half and Weir checks out and Jeremy Jensma checks in. Guarding Blindauer. Goes way out to Parker Anderson. Anderson corrals over half, brings it back over on the Lutheran side. Gives it to Salzbrenner. Guarded by Sizemore. And the ball's on the floor again. And Salzbrenner comes away with it. Dribbles it off his foot. Velkamp picks it up, spins it around over to Stecker, and Stecker lays it in. What a hustle play. Unbelievable hustle play by Lee Velkamp. He wasn't going to be denied that ball. And Stecker finished with a nice layup. Johansson looking inside. It's being thwarted by Meerdink. And we have a timeout by Coach Stecker. Didn't like the looks of that offensive set. And Called the timeout. Settle his uh, Crusaders down. Timeout comes with 5.59 left in this third quarter. And the score is Sheboygan County Christian High 41 and the Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders 24. Lutheran's going to have to really, I think, 
claw a lot to get back into this game. Um, and you, you really need to do that on the defensive end. Um, Coach Todd Decker has tried several different defenses to to thwart the offense of Sheboygan County Christian High, and um, really nothing seems to be working that well for him and for the Crusaders. He's tried zone, he's tried man-to-man, -man, he's tried a half-court trapping zone. Um, the Eagles have, though, struggled with some turnovers. Um, but at this point in the game, they lead 41-24. to 24. And with the Crusaders having called timeout, they will inbound on the side. Zach Lindauer to inbound, guarded by Jeremy Jensma. And the Eagles come out in man-to-man. Salzbrenner running off of two screens, gets the ball, guarded closely by Stecker. Sam Decker running baseline out to the wing, looking to do something against Felkamp. Joe Hansen down the lane. He gets bumped and knocked off of the balance and ends up getting called for the travel and turns the ball over to the Eagles. Checking into the lineup for the Crusaders is number 22, Josh Walrich. And I believe number 12, Zach Brost. Stecker being closely guarded by Salzbrenner gets it over to Velkamp. Velkamp to Meerdink. Meerdink back over to Velkamp. And Lee yelling out instructions. Dribbles, gives up his dribble over to Meerdink. Down in the corner to Stecker. Jensma cut down the lane but wasn't given the ball. Stecker down the middle, tries a backdoor cut to Velkamp, and the ball almost stolen by number 12, Zach Gross, but went off his leg and over to the Eagles. Lee Velkamp to inbound. Velkamp looking to get it in, does so to Meerdink. Meerdink eyes up a shot, but sick, thinks twice about it. Back into the corner to Jensma, back to Stecker. Jeremy Jensma rebounds, misses the bunny. Velkamp, a left-hander, blocked by Sam Decker, and Decker comes away with it, pushing up to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner back over to Decker, guarded by Velkamp, into Johansson. Johansson looking for it, and Stecker makes a wonderful, beautiful steal, goes in up against Sam Decker and lays it in for two. Eagles leading 43-24. to Salzbrenner brings it up over half, guarded again by Stecker. Goes down the lane, kicks it over to Johansson. Johansson skips over to number 12, Zach Rose, who puts it up, rattles off the rim. Meerdink with a rebound and gets it over to Velkamp. Velkamp pushing it up. Gets it in the corner to Stecker on the right-hand side. Gives it back to Velkamp for three. Long off the bracket. Jensma with a shot and is fouled by Ryan Johansson as he went up for a shot. Nice, nice weak side rebound by Jeremy Jensma. And he got, he got hammered as he went up for the shot. And will shoot two. Several substitutions coming in. Two for the Crusaders and one for the Eagles. Coming into the lineup for the Crusaders is number 11, Carl Nimmer, and number 21, Parker Anderson. And into the Eagle lineup is Zach Jensma, number 23, comes in for... Matt Sizemore. Jeremy Jensma shoots his second, misses that one. And the Eagles lead with 420 left in the quarter by a score of 43 to 25. Sam Decker with the ball, guarded by Velkamp. And Velkamp does a little hard hand checking as Sam Decker crossed over to his left side and Velkamp tried to recover and he ends up following him. That's Velkamp's first the Eagles' second team fall. Zach Bros to inbound. Looks like Sam Decker's gonna have to run the show. It goes over to Carl Nimmer. Sam Decker with the ball, guarded by Stecker. Looks like they're running a pick and roll. Jensma jumps it, and now he's guarding Decker. Decker tries to, tries to either look for a shot or a pass and ends up traveling. And that doesn't take long for Todd Decker to send in Dan Sol Salzbrenner for Sam Decker. 
try to settle the uh, Crusaders down. Meerdink to inbound to Stecker. Stecker guarded by Salzbrenner. He eyes it up, dribbles up over half. Hits it over to Jensma. Jensma in the corner to Velkamp. Skips out to Meerdink. And they try to go inside. Stecker to Jensma and it's stolen by Carl Nimmer into Parker Anderson in the middle and he pulls it up short and Meerdink pulling down another rebound. Meerdink's just pulling down rebounds tonight. They kick over to, Jen, to Zach Jensma and Stecker calls the offense over to Zach Jensma on the wing. Meerdink steps out, skips it over to Stecker. Stecker dumps it inside to Jeremy Jensma who spins, turns, and scores. And Parker Anderson has called for the foul. That's his second. He checks out of the game. Josh Meck checks in along with Sam Decker. And Jeremy Jensma is at the line to shoot one. Jeremy Long on that free throw. Two Lutheran guys collide, but number 22, Josh Walridge comes away with it. Sam Decker from way out, launches an air ball, rebounded by Velkamp, who pushes up the floor, over to Zach Jensma. Jensma drives to the middle and pulls it back out at the top. Nobody guarding him. He doesn't even realize it and runs, gets the offense set up. Coach Flipsy. Barking orders and getting his team set in their offense. Jensma pops out over to Stecker. Stecker inside to Meerdink, and Meerdink is hammered. Eagles keep running this play to their big men. They just keep keep dumping down inside on, on the Lutheran Crusaders. That foul is on Dan Salzenbrenner, his first. It's the team's fourth in this half with two minutes and 40 seconds. Joe Meerdink lines up his first free throw and hits it. And the Eagles are leading currently by a score of 47 to 24. Meerdink hits his second. And Salzbrenner dribbles up over half and the Eagles are in a zone. With Jensma at the top, applying pressure. Back inside, kicks it out for Decker. Decker lets it go off rim. And the Crusaders come down with a rebound. And number 22, Josh Walrich, did a nice job of just catching that rebound and putting it back in for a score. Stecker dribbling over half, guarded by Sam Decker over to Lee Velkamp. Velkamp kicks over to Jeremy Jensma. Jensma in the corner to Stecker and back inside again to Meerdink. And Meerdink lays it in on a nice little dump in by Stecker. Again, they ran that same play, getting the ball to Meerdink. And the uh, other couple times, they ran it to Jensma. Eagles in their zone. Get it high to number 23, Josh Meck. Back to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner eyeing the situation. Feeling a little frustrated. Decker back to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner to the middle, over to Decker. Down in the corner to Carl Nimmer. Back out to Decker. Decker looking to see where he can attack. Skips it over to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner into the middle, over to Decker, who lets it go. Long three go, off rim. Lee Velkamp with a rebound, dribbles out of there, and kicks it over to Stecker. Stecker skips to Meerdink. Meerdink looking inside, dribbles, goes to this hole, and is called with a charge. Carl Nimmer stood his ground and took the brunt of that hit by Josh, or by Joel Meerding. Lutheran substituting rather heavily right now. Number 12 checking in is Zach Brost, and number 21 is Parker Anderson, and number 32 is Zach Lindauer. Christian still in their zone, trying to Nice little dump in the middle to number 12, Zach Brose, but he's short on the rim and Velkamp comes away with it again. Over to Meerdink. Meerdink dribbles up the left-hand side, skips it over to Stecker, and Stecker eyes the situation, and the play is called. 
He's penetrating over to Jensma in the right hand wing. Over to Mirdink. Over to Velkamp. Down into Mirdink again, who had a great seal on his guy. I don't think that basket's going to count. Number 22, Josh Walrich committed his first foul to Lutheran High's 15. I think the Eagles made a concerted effort right here to uh, really pound the ball inside and get it to their big men and execute their offense. They definitely are taking advantage of what, um, or taking advantage of Lutheran. Lutheran can't stop the play. Checking into the Christian Eye lineup is a senior, number 34, um, Eric Catron. Mirdink just hit a nice little mid-range jumper and the Eagles lead with 30 seconds left, 52 to 26. Josh Meck tried to go baseline and then dump it inside in the middle and it came off of an eagle foot and goes back over to Lutheran. Matt Sizemore checks back into the lineup and Zach Jensma checks out. Lutheran to inbound the ball and Parker Anderson had a great seal and then lost control of the ball and the Lutheran High Crusaders turned the ball over with an over and back. 24 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And the Eagles lead 52 to 26. Joe Mirning throws it into the backcourt for Stecker. Stecker calls out the play, dribbles up over timeline, over to Mirning. Down in the corner to Velkamp. Velkamp over to Sizemore. Sizemore dribbles over and they run a weave with Mirning. Mirning looking for Stecker and Mirning threw the ball away. Joe Mirnick just needs to settle down and let the game come to him. He's trying so hard. Number 12 with a long, long shot. Zach Brost stopped and popped right before the buzzer and hit a three, bringing an end to the third quarter with the Eagles leading the Crusaders 52 to 29. As we begin the fourth quarter here, again with the Eagles leading the Crusaders, their crosstown rivals, 52 to 29. Uh, coming in for the Crusaders is Zach Lindauer, Sam Decker, Dan Salzbrenner, and 21, Parker Anderson, and Ryan Johansson. For the Eagles, Sizemore guarding the ball. Sam Decker making a cut and was tripped by Lee Velkamp. It's Lee Velkamp's second foul. The Eagles fourth. Nobody's close to the bonus. Decker trying to inbound, almost travels with the ball. And an Eagle got his hand on it and it goes over to the Crusaders over on the side. Eric Patron is still out there for the Eagles along with Andrew Stecker, Joe Mirding, Lee Velkamp, Sam Decker with the ball. Sizes it up, Velkamp gets help from Mirding and Mirding, Mirding ties up Decker who falls to the floor, helped up by Mirding and Patron and the ball goes over to the Eagles. Lee Velkamp over back to Mirding, Mirding Brings the ball over the timeline. Doesn't look like he wants it. Wants to give it back to Stecker. Stecker's running the offense. And the Eagles go into it. Lee in the post. Looks to go up. And was fouled on the pass by a Crusader. By Ryan Johansson. The 6'1 senior from Lutheran, his second. Lutheran sixth. Eagles will be shooting the bonus. Little dump into Joe Mirdink. Mirdink kisses it off the glass for two on a nice little inbound play. Johansson in the corner. Over to Blindauer. Blindauer skipping over to Decker. Decker over to the elbow. Johansson up at the top, guarded by Mirdink. And Lutheran settles down and tries to run their offense. Number 32, Zach Lindauer puts it up. Joe Mirdink with another rebound, kicks it out to Velkamp. 
Belkamp pushes it up over to Stecker. Stecker who lays or skips it over to Patron and Patron overlays a nice little bunny shot and is not happy with himself. But it was a nice look by Andrew Stecker to get the ball over to Eric Patron. Checking into the Eagle lineup for the first time tonight is number 10, Taylor Decker. 5'10", junior. And he has got the responsibility of guarding Salzenbrenner. Decker guarded by Mirdink. Salzbrenner guarded by Decker. They switch over with Velkamp, and Decker makes a nice little tap out, and Velkamp collects the steal. Velkamp pushing it up, skips it over to Patron. Patron, too much of in a hurry, and didn't put the ball down before he lifted his pivot foot and his call for the travel. And coach Brett Flipsy is calling a timeout, taking a full timeout. And with six minutes and 17 seconds left in this game, the Eagles lead by a score of 54 to 29. Looks like the Eagles will be in the bonus on the next Lutheran fall. And we'll see what kind of, kind of play we get as we come out out of this timeout. And head towards the end of this game. The Eagles definitely have dominated in this game. Um, Lutheran, Lutheran's been pretty overmatched by, by the height and, and play of the Eagles. Coming out for Lutheran is Blindauer, Walrich, Brost, Decker, Salzbrenner. And for the Eagles is Taylor Decker, Matt Seismer, Eric Patron, Joe Mirdink, and Lee Velkamp. And we have a foul called. That was a foul on I don't know who that foul. Oh, that was on Eric Patron. Sam Decker inbounds to Salzbrenner, who leaves it for Brost, who comes up short, and the ball goes off of Sam Decker, and out of bounds to the Eagles. Lee Velkamp brings it over the timeline, brings it, gives it to Patron. Patron in the corner to Jensma. Belkamp makes his cut down the lane, nothing there. Sizemore dribbling over to the right-hand side, crosses over, gives it to Belkamp. And Belkamp calls out the play again. There was a Decker and Decker collision. Oh, and again, nice backdoor cut. And Sizemore delivers the goods to Zach Jensma for a lay-in. Lutheran comes over to the timeline, over to Sam Decker, guarded by Velkamp. Almost turns the ball over, sends Dan Salzenbrenner, dumps it in low, back out to Salzenbrenner, over to Decker for a long three, off the rim. Patron with a rebound, and he almost turns the ball over. Decker corrals it, still corralling it. And Taylor Decker throws the ball out of bounds, and it goes over to Sheboygan area Lutheran. Checking into the Eagle lineup is number 24, Jeremy Jensma for his brother, Zach Jensma. Inbounding the ball is Zach Brost for the Lutheran High Crusaders. They get it into Salzbrenner, or yeah, Salzbrenner. Dribbles between the circles, down the lane, tries to dump it in, thought his postman was going to release and throws it out of bounds. Checking into the Lutheran lineup is number 21, Parker Anderson. Checking out is Dan Salzbrenner. Lutheran showing a full court pressure here. Patron inbounds to Taylor Decker. Decker dribbles towards the middle, gets it over to Patron. Patron down the middle, and the Eagles put some pressure on. 
Decker gets it, guarded by Decker. If you're wondering about those two, uh, their dads are cousins. Um, Sam being Todd Decker's son and Taylor being Ralph Decker's, this announcer's son. Um, Sam being a freshman at Lutheran and Taylor a junior at Christian High. So there's a lot of Decker connection here tonight. Lead Bellcamp to inbound for the Eagles. He kicks it into the corner to Taylor Decker who lines up a three, shoots it long and Bellcamp comes with a rebound, kicks it back out to Decker. Decker tries to dump it inbound inside to Sizemore and it's tapped out of bounds by number 11, Carl Nimmer. Checking into the Lutheran lineup is Ryan Johansson. And checking in for the Eagles is Luke Weir and Andrew Stecker. Patreon inbounds to Stecker. Lutheran in their zone over to Taylor Decker. Luke Weir trapped in the corner looking where to go. Over to Decker. Back to Weir. They're trapping in that corner. And a foul is called on number 12, Zach Brost on Luke Weir. That's his first. That's the team's seventh. Putting the Eagles in the bonus and Luke Weir at the line. Luke Weir eyes up the first one and lets it go and hits it. Luke Weir is a pretty good free throw shooter for the Eagles. With 4.14 left in the quarter, the score is 57 for the Eagles, 29 for Lutheran. Lutheran pushes it up down in the corner to Johansson, guarded by Patron. Inside to number 11, Nimmer. Decker at the elbow, tries to look for a shot, kicks it long over to number 12. Zach Bros puts it up, he's off. Lutheran fights for the rebound and an easy little putback and it overlay by Zach Bros, but the Eagles couldn't corral the rebound and it goes off a of patron's hand over to the Crusaders. Sam Decker inbounds over to Johansson and they run the swing. And Luke Weir tried to go crashing through a pick that was set against him so Sam Decker could get a shot. And Luke Weir is called for the foul. I believe that's his fourth, the team sixth. And Lutheran will inbound underneath its basket. Nathan Hendricks checking in for the first time for the Eagles. And Luke Weir checking out. And Lutheran ready to run its... Inbound offense. Decker way out to Nimmer. Nimmer down the baseline, puts the shot up, and Patron comes out with it. And he is fouled by Carl Nimmer, and that'll put Patron at the line to shoot a bonus. That's Carl Nimmer's first foul, team eighth. And Eric Patron goes to the line to shoot the bonus. Patron long on it. Jeremy Jensman with a one-hand rebound. Tried to rip it down, but Johansson took it away from him. And Sam Decker comes up the floor with a ball. Guarded by Stecker. Decker lets it fly. Taylor Decker with a rebound. Comes out of there with it. Over to Stecker. And Stecker brings it up over. Gets it in over to Nathan Hendricks. Hendricks back over to Jeremy Jensma. Jensma over to Stecker. They run a weave. Over in the corner to Patron, down into Jensma for an easy little lay-in. Nice little ball movement by the Eagles, by the Eagles substitutes. They did a nice job with that. Decker over to Johansson. They look into the post. He wants to go there. He's going to get it there, and he turns it over with Nathan Hendricks coming away with a steal. Stecker dribbles, walks the ball over half, yells out motion, and looking to run the play. He just dumps it inside, and... Jeremy Jensma needed to go stronger to the board, and he had it blocked, and it went off the Crusaders. Um, 
Three substitutes coming in for the Crusaders. Salzbrenner, Walrich, and Blindauer. Stecker kicks it out and gets it to Taylor Decker. Decker inside to Jeremy Jensma, who goes right down the lane, misses the layup, and Lutheran comes out with Salzbrenner. Fast breaking. Blindauer hard to the floor. Salzbrenner goes up with a shot, but is fouled. And Nathan Hendricks comes away with a foul on that one. That's his first. Eagles seventh with two and a half minutes left in the game. The Eagles lead by 30, 59 to 29. And Zach Blindauer at the line shooting one. Jeremy Jensen with a rebound over to Stecker. Stecker again calling out instructions. Decker trying to overplay him to his left. It's going to be a little futile with Stecker, a great ball handler for the Eagles. Patron tried to dump it into Decker low, but Aaron Pass turned it over to Blindauer. Blindauer, or I'm, Salzbrenner came away with the ball. Jensma had it knocked away over to number 22, Josh Walrich. And Bros drives down the lane. It's getting a little sloppy here. Nathan Hendricks picks up his second foul in about 30 seconds. And Zach Bros to shoot. Shoots the first, rims out, Patron with a rebound. And gets it over to Andrew Stecker. Sam Decker guarding Andrew. Sam is the brother of, oh, we have a walking call on Stecker. Stecker saw something, wanted to go one way and turn the ball over. Sam's the brother of John Decker, uh, who played at Lutheran also. And uh, Sam's starting out his varsity career playing pretty well for a freshman. Decker guarding Decker. Sam crosses over, goes to the middle, puts up a leaning one-hander. Patron with a rebound and tumbles to the floor after being tripped and travels, turning the ball back over to Lutheran. Sam Decker to inbound. Gets it into Sam Decker. Sam Decker, whoa! Sam Decker is tripped. Taylor Decker comes out of it and jumps over Sam. And, but a foul was called. That foul was on Jeremy Jensman, number 24 of the Eagles. That's his third. The Eagles ninth. And it puts Sam Decker at the line. Sam lets go of the rebound, or lets go of the free throw, and rebound is pulled down by Eric Patron. Andrew Stecker drilling up against Sam. Oh, and Andrew lost the ball and went to go get it and got fouled by Sam. There's a tired bunch of Lutheran High kids out there and a little dejected, I think, but still got to play out this last minute, 16 seconds in this fourth quarter. Score is still 59-29. Stecker lines up the first and hits it. Finally, somebody hit a free throw here down the stretch. That hasn't happened too much lately. Stecker with a bonus. Sinks that one, making it 61-29. to Salzbrenner coming up over half, guarded by Taylor Decker. Over to Sam. Back to Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner... Over to Sam. Sam juking around, looking to go in the middle, double teamed. Gets it out to Blindauer. Blindauer over to Salzbrenner. And Salzbrenner resets, looks for a screen from Walrich. Walrich gets it inside against Taylor Decker. Puts up a nice little left-handed shot and scores for the Crusaders. Crusaders putting on a press here. Stecker looking to get it in and gets it in over, over to Decker. Decker over half. Decker not paying attention and has the ball stolen from him. And Zach Blindauer goes all the way to the hole, scoring two more points. And it's getting a little hectic, and Stecker is 
trapped over on the sideline, gets it over to Nathan. Nathan Bones passes it to Taylor, and Taylor Decker comes up short with the lay-in, but is fouled by number 22, Josh Walrich. And Taylor Decker will go to the line to shoot two with 21 seconds left. in the game. Taylor eyes up the first one and hits it. And I'll get to sh well, he's shooting double bonus. Hits the second one. Dan Salzbrenner to bring it over. With 15 seconds left, Sam Decker dribbling between the circles, goes down the lane. Stop, Salzbrenner steps up, shoot a two. And Decker shoots another three, rebounded by Lutheran. And number 12, Zach Gross ends up putting it in. And that ends the game here tonight with the Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles defeating Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders by a score of 63 to 35. Again, it was a, a good game by the Eagles. They played well. They pretty much dominated and executed very well. Um, this is a team that's on a mission for Coach Todd Decker and the Lutheran High Crusaders. Um, it's kind of a rebuilding time for him. He tries to figure some things out with his team. Um, his son, Sam, is doing a real nice job, though. Um, came out and scored some points early for them. But uh, the Eagle defense was pretty strong in the second half and pretty much made sure he didn't uh, get too many more points. Um, and again, tonight, the uh, Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles defeat Sheboygan Area Lutheran here at Sheboygan County Christian High by a score of 63 to 35. Well, we're back here with uh, two of the stars of tonight's game against Sheboygan, uh, against Sheboygan Area Lutheran. Um, we have with us over here on my left, uh, Lee Velkamp, and on my right, um, Joe Meerdink. Uh, both of these guys uh, scored 11 points along with the Jensma brothers who had 11 each. Uh, it was a nice balanced scoring night for, for the Eagles. Uh, Joe Meerdink did a nice job on the boards tonight and ended up with nine rebounds. Um, what do you think the key was again tonight for, for your victory? How do, how do you assess your play tonight, Joe? Um, I would say in practice we worked really hard on uh, rebounding and just trying to play as a team. I know we didn't do that very well in the past, but we were really working on our team chemistry and just trying to spread the ball around. Lee, uh, I noticed you, you've taken on a greater role as far as um, controlling the ball and the tempo and, 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 the, and the team overall. Is, is that a role you pretty much relish for, for the Eagles? Oh yeah, I love having that role. Um, it allows me to push the ball. When we push the ball and just play basketball, that's when we score and we're just having fun. Did you look tonight to score more? I know, if, I know. In the last couple games, you hadn't you hadn't done a tremendous amount of scoring, but tonight you ended up with 11 with everybody else. Was was it a conscious effort on your part to look to score more? Or? I was just letting the game come to me. When I tried to force stuff, it never happened. When I let it come, it just opened up, and I just took the opportunities that I got. Joe, I also noticed that uh, Coach made a pretty concerted effort. I think in the second half, both of you maybe can concur. Um, to get the ball into your big guys. It looked like you would swing it out to Stecker on the wing, and then uh, you guys were posting up and just, quite honestly, dominating pretty much inside. Uh, is that what, Was that the plan of attack in the second half for you guys? And I know you, you ended up uh, having a few more points than you've been, been getting in the last couple games. So uh, was that the plan of attack for you guys in the second half? Uh, well, we just are beginning to realize that we got ver versatility and we're trying to work it in and out, you know. They knew we were coming out shooting, so work it inside, and then we can always kick it back out if we don't have it inside. Well, I, you definitely talk about 
getting more versatility and more guys involved in your in your game plan because when you're looking at four guys that are scoring 11 points I mean I don't think you can really ask for more um, you guys did a nice job tonight really uh, uh, taking care of business uh, I know you had a little hiccup against Howard's Grove and um, are feeling a little frustrated about uh, that loss but um, tonight I, I thought you did a you guys did a nice job and again the balance scoring I think can only be a plus for you guys thanks for stopping by and talking to us and uh, have a good season you guys yeah, thank thanks you so